Hear, feel, think. Preparations for the enchantment are complete. When the heart hath been suffused with a sufficient quantity of ether, the golem should be restored to life. All right then. Whenever you're ready.
It's working! It's working! Magnus! You left me for this? This wretched heap of stone and rubble? This worthless pile of earth? And yet... I can't... I can't... What troubleth thee, child? I shouldn't be here. I don't deserve to be. I don't deserve any of the things you've done for me. I'm just a burden, helpless and hopeless. If tomorrow came and I was gone, it would be better for everyone. Thancred most of all. He'll never admit it, but I can see it in his eyes. I wish he'd just say it. Just say that he hates me. That he wishes I was dead so that she could return. None of this is thy doing, child. Twas I who set the Oracle on her path unto the first. I who condemned you all to suffer these torments. Tis my sin alone and one that will haunt me unto my dying day. Yet I dare not dwell over long on my many regrets, for the world is a tapestry of fates, interwoven and inseparable. And we who strive to better it cannot choose but make difficult decisions. For naught of worth was ever achieved without sacrifice. And thus must man ever struggle to weigh life against loss. The one for whom thou mournest beareth no grudge. Were she here, she would not suffer thee to languish in sorrow. She would tell thee to seek thine own path, thine own purpose. It is a truth which I myself was slow to learn, yet a truth it remaineth. Thou needst but have faith, have faith, and all will be well. Not today.
To what do I owe the pleasure that is your extended stay? Oh, to the tediousness of our hero's present endeavors. That and the insufferable abundance of light in Armoreng. I should be glad to keep my distance. Oh, I'm rather fond of sleep, you know. It's a wonderful way to pass the time. Not that my compeers would agree, mind you. Always on the move, the lot of them. Like La Habrea, constantly jumping from vessel to vessel. Such fire, such determination. So much passion, fleeting and forgotten. Come to think of it, Exarch, I don't believe I've ever seen you retire to your chambers for so much as 40 winks. However do you keep your eyes from closing? The cold shoulder. You wound me, sir. Always so guarded in our every interaction. Interactions you curiously refrain from sharing with the Scions and their champion. And risk souring your budding relationship? I think not. Much as I dislike you, there are more useful targets for her energies. And I am not in the habit of pointing her at my enemies like a weapon. Is that right? Fond of her, are you? You continue to fascinate me, Exarch. But tell me, who are you? The once great nation whose ingenuity gave birth to this tower was shaped by my hand. As such, I know full well the wonders it can facilitate and those it cannot. There is nothing in these walls which could have aided you in summoning our dear friend across time and space. Much less in possession of her mortal flesh, not even I could have performed such a feat. I see. You had a hand in Alag as well. You would know what I am? I am the adjudicator of the sacred history with which you dared trifle. I am keeper of this tower's boundless wisdom. The wisdom of ages without age, of everywhere and nowhere. The great work of those who tamed the wings of time and grasped the nature of the rift. Tis a boon born of the sacrifice of brave heroes who gave their lives for a brighter future. I will not see their hopes and dreams squandered. The history which led us here will be unwritten. I promise you that. Well, it seems we are both eager to fulfill our duties then. On that much, we are in agreement. 